Hello everybody and welcome back to another Plank Commentary Wonder Over Yonder Episode 25 and 26 as per usual, that's the outro if you skip that, so yeah Don't have much else, much to say here um, The previous episode was quite plain I'm looking forward to the next ones to see how good they will become because the series certainly does have its brightly shining moments. When it gets good, it really does get really good, so... Yeah. And then when it's bad, it's still pretty okay, so... It's like sex. Or pizza. Let's just get on with the show. Okay. <laughs> oh, that shark guy is actually looks a, quite a lot like Joker. Ying, to tell you something, I'm dying. <laughs> Before I die, I will bequeath to one of you villains my vast empire and the extensive power which I have spent one thousand years building. Okay. <laughs> Are you a thousand years old? You don't look a day over 400. <laughs> Am I right? Who's with me? <laughs> Wait, no! What if I say you do look your age? Or older? <laughs> well, that's kind of brutal. I cannot stand desperate. Whomever I bequeath control of my power to. Wait. That's a black cube. That's just a cube. Best villain ever, 2016. Must be one who possesses great strength. Someone deserving. I do not want weaklings! So, <laughs> most likely Peepers is going to win. Or that cube. Hey, it's Hater and Mr. Peepers! Sylvia, you said we wouldn't know anyone. <laughs> I'm so glad you made it, my dear boy. Oh, sit next to me. <laughs> okay. What is he do? What? What? Who? Who? Why? Queen Intazoa. I can't thank you oh. for inviting me and Sylvia. Okay. You're so lanky, Shindig. I can't wait to meet all your fascinating guests. And any of you well-behaved creeps get out of line, I got a couple of guests I'd like you to meet, too. The Lady Haymaker and the Duchess of Wailing. <gasps> Duchess, look! Finger sandwiches! <laughs> oh, yeah! You glutton. He's not even a villain! He's like the goodiest good guy ever! <laughs> On the contrary, Lord Hater. Wonder is the number one most wanted fugitive in the galaxy. It's so impressive. Oh? Someone has some competition. Ha! Ha! What? Hey, hey. I did an explanation for that. Why is he the most wanted fugitive? Is that because... Actually, it could very easily be if all the villains have just put bounties on his head. He would be the most wanted in that case, huh? Wanted by me. I did that. Oh, I yeah. Not allow you to boil another one of my plants. Now you shall die. Excuse us, we need to use a little melon room. <laughs> Sir, we've been over this. You cannot destroy anyone at a dinner party. It's very rude, and the queen is very, very, very rude. Proper manners. But Wander doesn't even want Queen Entazoa's power. I do. That's cool. That's nice. Sir, let me take care of Wander. She's sure to pick you if you stick to the plan and act like the ultimate gentleman. Polite, proper, witty, and charming. <sighs> okay, I can do this. Well, that was 
quite some track on the back. It's fine. That just... I suppose... I, I, I suppose after seeing a sentient planet create life and start... To, oh, that's actually... Sound, now that I think about that, that is surprisingly incestuous. Whatever. After a sentient planet, I suppose a geometric shape. A sentient, all-powerful geometric shape shouldn't be that surprising. I suppose the simplest things are the most complicated ones. Mm, that's not exactly new, but that's pretty cool, though. I like it too. It's got good parts, and in other parts that are also good too, as well. <laughs> Don't be a suck up. Uh. Esther eight planets for top. That's mm. -hmm. <laughs> oh, Wandy! <laughs> How I love your devil may care attitude! <laughs> Say goodbye, you wandering weirdo. Well. You better call the farmer, because these calves are ready for market. You can't handle this. <laughs> okay. I can't understand these disgusting creatures. Someone else talk. Oh, I have a very pithy and impromptu story that's sure to make you laugh. Ooh. So, the other day, I'm flying through space, and there's this planet that's just begging to get blown up. Why? Because it was. But why? Because it was dumb looking. Why? Because it was purple and I hate purple. Why? Because this girl I like had purple hair and she didn't want to date me, but it doesn't matter because I like didn't want to date her either. So like, she's the loser, not me. So whatever. Okay. Quite okay. an explosion. Hey, I can do this. <laughs> Well, they do shave their eyeballs, so I'm not surprised that they have to patch them. That... How do the watchdogs even work? That's so peculiar. Oh well, whatever. Wait, you gotta... Oh. What? Oh. Oh. Oh! Okay. Well, may I have this dance? <laughs> Time as old as you, Lord Hater and the Queen. <laughs> that not an amused look is quite. Uh, it's, it, like, 
it, it is unbelievable to think that like Wonder is not like isn't conscious of the sabotage that he is doing. Like it would be otherwise like that he is perhaps the most coincidental character in the world universe because it, 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 like he really does like ruin all of Hater's plans by accident. That's interesting. Just flat out murder attempt. Oh. Wouldn't that be kind of lethal? Yeah. And we've actually seen him flat out attack Wonder like that. Hmm. What? He could have just killed Wonder there. And... Oh well. Hater, the ultimate evil. When I want something, I take it, and I want your power. Now. Okay. <laughs> Such force. <laughs> oh, so we are doing the kissing thing then? I will enjoy inhabiting your body so much better than this old hag's. Yes. No. Wait, what? Oh, yes, Lord Hater. That's the catch. Just as I did with the Queen, when I bequeath my empire to a vessel, they may control my power, but I will control them for the next 1,000 years! <laughs> okay. Heimlich! Sandwich. That's a pretty good ending line. Yeah, yeah, that's that's not half bad. Let's get on with the second part. Well, this is quite usual. Perfect silence. Oh, this is somebody's sock. That means 
means that there's a sad, sockless soul out there with a very cold, naked foot pining away for their one lonely socks twin. We can't just turn our backs on what could be someone's greatest hour of need. Haven't you ever lost something you wished you could get back? Besides the last 10 seconds of this conversation? <laughs> Come on! It'll be fun! Besides, how hard can it be to return a sock? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rather promising name, I must say. Actually, that looks a bit like Wander's sock. A bit. Yeah. We'll leave the sock here. Whoever lost it will come find it. It's right there in the title. Yeah. I don't know. What kind of background checks do they run on people claiming lost items? Wander, this man is a professional. He will make sure this precious cargo finds its way home. Right? Yeah. It'll definitely end up somewhere. See? Somewhere! Hand over the sock. Oh, that's so epic. really want to find the owner. We do. We really do. Legend tells of the intergalactic guru, a being of infinite wisdom who has answers to every question in the universe. Okay. But warned, the journey to the guru is fraught with peril. Few have survived. Those who well. have, we're driven to the depths of madness. Sounds promising. That sounds awesome! Give me a pen. I gotta write all this down! You couldn't just take the sock, could you? First, you must brave the grizzly forest. So named for its fierce grizzly population. Okay. Oh, they are just bears. Beware the less famous but equally deadly giant horror scorpion. <laughs> there you will find the key to the tomb of the unknown emperor. Where you have to tame the fierce Tigrix of Nil. They are probably just gonna get back to that lost and found there office. Find a map leading to the far bricks lava drone. Rescue the fair princess Galactia. Oh, hey, look at the Doom Dragon. <laughs> she will lead you to the Infinity Crystals, which you must pry from the throne of the easily it... used Dragor the Distractable. That's, that, that, that's a good title. Easily Distractable. That's... Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> And infinite gems, yeah, sure, definitely not infinity gauntlet or something, whatever. After that, head to the Isotorium to rescue the unfair princess Monochron. <laughs> you call this a rescue? Resist the solar siren's sweet song. Yeah, not that hard to resist. Survive the quicksand of forgetfulness. Wait, what were we doing? Oh yeah. Ah! Humble yourselves before the legendary Neon Knight of Nalpraxis. Call me Jim. <laughs> the Neon Knight shall join your party, but bore you with endless stories about old fishing trips. Well, we never thought we'd catch a snook with that boy. Now, the thing you gotta know about your snook... Why is he fighting with a... sock? He'll find true love, and you'll remember him fondly. I'll miss him so much. How will we ever go on? We must! For the sock! Jim would want it this way. <laughs> okay. The riddles three of the Blarnian Bridge Troll. A triangle, a child laughter, and to see time fly. Cross the mountain pass without okay. at the hippogriff. Stop at Floyd's Diner. Uh. Best blank salad sandwich you'll ever eat. Discover the true <laughs> secret was inside you all along. 
and boom, you're at the what? intergalactic guru. Okay. After you climb the million. Quinquag into quadrigentillion steps. That's not too big. <laughs> but remember, you may ask the guru only one question. So choose wisely. Oh. Okay. There actually was a guru. Oh, great and mighty intergalactic guru, keeper of the wisdom of the cosmos, grand observer of all that is and will be! Is this your sock? Nope. Okay, thanks. Whose sock is this? Not, is this yours? Whose? I'll admit, that last plan was a little tricky, but this sock is important to somebody. Okay. We've just got to return it soon. That's... No matter how long it takes, how grueling the journey, how dangerous the... Oh! Silly me! This is my sock! It is? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Where has my head been? Thanks for returning it. Hmm. I don't recall you ever wearing shoes, <laughs> let alone socks. Yeah. Ah. You're stretching it! Goodbye! Okay. That was quite a fast way to get down. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. <gasps> Look at that! The return address was inside the sock all along! <laughs> Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> okay, okay. Well, hello, Ali Ali Oxen Free. This place gives me the heebies with a side order of jeebies. Can anyone tell us how to get to 1313 Looming Terror Drive? <laughs> That's an impressive build. Mm -hmm. No. Uh-uh. Wander, we've done a lot of stupid things to return this sock. But if we go up there, we're gonna die. I can live with stupid. I can't live with death. But we're so close. I don't care. We're done. I still have a chance to make it out alive. And you're already up there, aren't you? <laughs> okay. Sir, does the strip door have too few socks? No. Too many? Like no. Has he ever, ever lost a sock? No. Oh wait, actually, his horribleness did lose one sock. So he bought a new pair. I mean, they're just socks. Well, time to meet your doom. See ya. Sylvia, <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry. I thought that going out of your way to be kind to someone would always be worth the trouble, but I was wrong. <laughs> you were right. This. Is just a dumb sock, and it doesn't matter a lick to anyone. No, Wonder. This sock does matter to someone, to you, and I will not let this entire stupid quest be in vain. Yo, headcase. Oh, overtly dramatic. Okay. 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 My friend, I missed you so much. Thank you. 
Thank you for returning literally the most important thing in the entire universe. Release them! In fact, release all the prisoners and make them dupes! Except that guy! Destructor! <laughs> make him an archduke! <gasps> all is forgiven! <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay. Fucking hey, man, I do have a bit of a mixed feeling right now. <sighs> okay, first of all, let's talk about the second episode because it's a bit easier to talk about. Well, it was... I was actually not that entertained by it at first. It was, like, just normal. Though it does, does showcase one of the show's greatest strengths again, which is the fact that it can easily go through a myriad of different worlds and settings and characters and races and all that and showcase just a wider variety of creativity that they have. So those kinds of clip shows are pretty good for that. That's... Still doesn't make it exactly that much ent that entertaining, but it is fine enough, and it's not bad, and it shows that the creators, at the very least, have enough imagination to create a, such a huge, wide variety of scenarios. Although it's it wasn't even the most highest pinnacle of creativity even there, and though I must say I did quite I, I did quite enjoy that final <sighs> that final fake out there with that um a the final big bad guy who wanted his sock puppet back. That's that that was pretty clever. That, that I actually did like. It's not actually the most original thing ever, but you know, originality is almost impossible. But I like that. I really did like that. It, it was pretty fun. But I don't like the ending though. Like otherwise, that was just rather mediocre of an episode. But the first episode, eh, that was actually surprisingly darn clever. And oh my goodness, I want to see that evil cube of darkness again. Because that's that was actually, again, not the most original thing. But it is pretty pretty funny. The, the, that, that is something that I really did like. A black cube of a villain that is just a huge black, or not a huge, but a small black floating cube of insanity when you stare at it. That was creative, that was fun, that I did like. And just in general that kind of like party to decide who gains the eternal power and then... Yeah, the first episode was also pretty... I just liked the first episode as a creative work. It's like, it's, it's pretty funny, it's pretty funny. It's, well, it's... yeah, it's nice. It is a pretty nice concept, and I do like that we saw that one, that shark guy coming again, and it was nice. It also had a surprisingly nice little ending, and of course, evil sandwich. Yeah, that's nice. It is pretty nice. There's nothing extraordinary about these episodes, though, like, in my mind. They are, like, the first episode, in my opinion, is a bit better, though that's mostly because it's... Really simple, and in such a way it actually was pretty clever how much they got out of such a simple concept, even though if, if the outcome was kind of foreseeable. Um, kind of. But the second episode, again, kind of mocked how... Like, it, it had nice parody elements to it, so it's not bad, but it's just rather mediocre. I mean, I did enjoy it, and especially that ending, it was raining money, that was kind of nice. Thank you all very much for watching, I hope to you all in the future have a great day and stay awesome. Can move. Oh, thank you very much for watching.